Over the weekend, did a little bit of a, you know, pan across the world. Most of it was in the continental United States. We'll go ahead and we'll talk about that in a minute. But across the rest of the world, you know, this is the way that they spent their weekend. In Russia specifically, you know, they've got this wonderful sailboat, or not a sailboat, I guess, actual ship, you know, all lit up in the patriotic colors, you know, not a pride flag disgusting degenerate okay nobody's trying to groom any kids in the background it's just a bunch of happy patriotic people and some i i don't know half sting half you know, jack sparrow wannabe i guess but no it, just a bunch of people you know what just trying to i don't rationalize a coup that was going on in the background whatever man but no that's the way that they spent their weekend what was happening over here in the united states well of course we're having kids throw foam bricks at i don't know political figures or something like that we talked about seattle pride event and We'll be talking about them again. Adults encourage children to throw bricks at pictures of Republicans. Yes, what is that? The Antifa training booth? The pictures feature Trump, Ron DeSantis, Senator Ted Cruz, and others. Yeah, I can't really tell through the little, you know, glory hole that's down there. I'm sure that's what ended up being repurposed because we know what other nonsense that they were also pushing that weekend as well. And um, you know what? Hey, for all of the different tents and all of the different safety precautions that they had down there, you know, they weren't exactly all that hip to the idea of making sure that the seat to your bicycle was properly affixed. So what else went down there? And of course, you know, you can only properly crop that out there and that's appropriate. So libs of TikTok, which I don't know if you guys are on Twitter or something like that. I tried to find the source. I tried to go to the libs of TikTok, you know, account. But it was, it was shadow banned on the search feature. I had to type in libs of TikTok, both just the name and the handle as well. And it didn't immediately come up in the search function. I don't know if that's anything like specifically to me or something like that. Because I haven't done anything when it comes to muting the account or... I don't follow them or anything like that. I'm just well aware of it. It's been a very prominent account for, oh Lord, going on, what, a few years at this point in time. But yeah, no, they were tweeting out all of this degeneracy, a fully naked man. And I'm glad that that is properly cropped right there. Very glad because, yeah, if you find that source video yourself, his dingle dangles are definitely dingling and dangling. And you can see kids in the background. So that's what Seattle's pushing out there. Okay. Fully naked men expose their genitalia in front of children at Seattle Pride Parade. And of course, you know, if you're on social media and you know about insufferable leftists, oh, the Krasenstein, or Krasenstein brothers, you know, ding. But there's two of them. I forget who the other one is, but this is one of the more insufferable ones. They've been exposed a thousand times over of just being paid shills. Okay, the same with the what's his nuts there, Brooklyn Dad Defiant. They all run in those same circles. They're just insufferable fucks that continue to push the same Democrat party line. So the moment that the mask slips in a situation like this, you got to take note of it. And it's so goddamn degenerate. It's like, did you not, did this not pass through testing here for a second? The way that you're rationalizing this shit. Yo, take a look at this. Okay, so let me get this straight. Libs of TikTok tweeted out a video of a naked men in bicycles in order to make a point that naked men on bicycles should not be parading in front of kids. I agree. All right, but it's also, you know, throwing all of the stuff that you support back in your own face in order for you to confront it and go, geez, you know, maybe our side has gone a little bit too far and we should take steps in order to prevent that because people are, you know, they're being legitimately affected by this. And then also at the same time, we could have a point of inflection here, but here I am thinking rationally and yeah, they ain't going to do that. But in order to make the point, they share a video of naked men on bicycles on Twitter where millions of kids can now see the video. No, the demographics of Twitter, it's one of the older skewing social media websites. So to think that it's, you know, all kids that are going to be on there. Like if libs of, t uh, libs of TikTok wanted to, you know, specifically target kids, which, you know, hey, is normally the domain of the Democrats, but you guys do you. They would go on said TikTok. They would go on Instagram. If they wanted to reach an older demographic, they'd go on Facebook. But no, they're also a news aggregator as well. Same with the post-millennial who actually had the scoop on all of this stuff. They were the ones who were tweeting out 
all of the most fuck shit over Pride Weekend. Which, you have a month, why do you need a weekend as well, you greedy fucks? Anyways. Note that I am only sharing a screenshot of the video, I'm not retweeting it because I actually don't think that kids should be viewing naked men on bicycles online, unlike libs of TikTok. Keep all of this in proper context, because we're gonna go down a little bit of a tweet thread from this fucking brainlet. Twitter is open to kids 13 years and older to agree to their terms of service, and libs of TikTok knows this. So, okay. Okay, then you got mostly peaceful memes who make some, you know, so as, as the name implies, some very good memes about a whole bunch of different things. So you're more upset that people are reporting gay men are exposing themselves to five-year-old kids than you are that gay men are exposing themselves to five-year-old kids. Yeah, very good point that you have right there. And then here comes the brainlet take to end all fucking brainlet takes. And as somebody who is an unofficial mouthpiece for the Democratic Party, very fucking revealing. Not the most revealing thing. It's obviously that. Number one, seeing a man naked on a bike, have you ever seen a grown man naked, isn't going to have much of an impact on any kid. But you were just trying to morally grandstand on that shit. Okay, cool. Uh, they have likely seen their father or brother naked before. Yo, this guy's been spending way too much time with the Biden family. Number two, sharing an uncensored video of a naked man uh, on a bicycle, on a bat. He got a bicycle to an audience of po or possibly 30 million kids on Twitter. Yo, there's not that many kids on Twitter. Just fuck off. Uh, on Twitter is arguably worse than riding a bike naked in front of a kid or two at a planned event. And the parents, uh, the kid's parents took them to that... <laughs> Yo, he could have showed it to a very large audience instead of the kid who's being sexually assaulted in public. Bruh. It's like trying to say, oh my god, somebody was shot in the streets. You shouldn't report on that because crime's bad. <laughs> Okay, and number three, there are much, much worse things than the average kid will see or hear. Okay, so again, just trying to downplay it, but then also trying to play it up at the same... Like, this is a monumentally terrible fucking take. Like, this one goes into the Twitter Hall of Fame, guys. Like, I, I wonder, I wonder what the ratio of this one is right here. Yo, that's really, that's Bud Light levels of terrible. 7,500 tweets. You know, how many quote tweets were on that? But yo, the 14 of the 1,500 or tweet or retweets or quote tweets. Holy fuck, man. That's how I got hip to this. And this is what, would, <laughs> and then going down the line on just this absolute fucking idiot, just doubling down on shit. Okay. Number one, my kids don't have Twitter for a reason. This Halo Rams fan. So somebody even in Los Angeles, I would imagine, right? Parents are voluntarily bringing their fucking nine year old girls to the parade full of naked men. Number, th oh, you don't see anything wrong with that. Number three, like what? And then for some reason he starts at number two because the count, or I thought those people are supposed to be good with numbers. I don't support taking kids to any naked events and I never said that I did, but here, let me rationalize this. It's like those idiot bread tubers that are out there that'll just say, kids should just be left alone and age of consent laws differ throughout the world. But let's talk about the moral implications of this. Like, whoa, just calm down for a second. And number three, okay, so so what's worse? Actual porn, people getting chopped up, people glorifying drug use and suicide. Okay, here you go. Just trying to shift the goalposts for a second. No, man, you double down on your idiocy. And even people that are subscribed to your account are fucking calling you out as well. Do, are, do your blaming uh, the source over evidence. Good grammar. I can see why you're subscribed to a crass instinct. Uh, do I have that right? And then getting ratioed on this. Uh, do you see respected media outlets posting pornography because they're covering this story? Well, is it pornography? Because if we're going to be definition shifting and mining, technically nobody's fucking in the streets. So mm, is it necessarily pornography that they're reporting? Because that seems like a fairly pertinent news story. Thousands of people gathered in a place and a, a notable event ended up occurring. No, they censor it. It's, oh, if this event is so horrible, why post the video for all to see, including kids? Again, with that logic, you would just go ahead and have wartime coverage just being taken off the platform, which is fine because he's also one of those, you know, Slava Ukraina types. So of course, you know, he doesn't want actual accurate reporting out there. So it's nice. It's nice whenever the mask slips on one of these far leftists that are out there. For all of the projection and all of the accusations that they level at the far right, I swear to God, their fuck-ups are always worse. And seeing dumb shit like this apparently isn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon because Rachel Levine is not satisfied with just having one month for pride. Just like Canada.
seen that at the beginning as well. Happy, happy pride. Actually, let's declare the summer of pride. Happy summer of pride. This shit ain't going anywhere anytime soon. You heard it from the dude. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.